A means of communication that were used a long time ago is the only hope here, despite the little hope of helping during crisis. We can't send anybody who comes in. There are also other means of communication. With. Sometimes we drop an empty Dasani bottle down the mine. If it reaches us, we get to know food is ready. In the hall, praying to be rescued, the need to communicate hit on them. The means we are using to communicate are not reliable sometimes. A person who goes down always has a mark pen, and the one who remains up stays with a mark pen also. So you can get right a message and does not reach up, and the person who is down will not get to respond. Sasa ujumbe usifike juu au usifike chini. Julius Arubaro was the first to hear Joseph calling for help underground. We felt the sand falling, and though it was a person, me and Safiri still had our voices. We called out, and a certain man with a Maasai accent asked, Who is it? I mentioned my name first. Then he asked, Are you not yet dead? I answered, we are still alive. Jibu wa rone uliza kani uliza, haujafa bado. Nika muambia sisi ya tujafa bado. After hours, wakashirikiana na uongozi uliyo. He went and informed others. Then the rescue mission started. Zule chibiza uzipo tu mzuri, wanakumi pointi nne. Up to now, Joseph and his three friends are getting treatment at the Kahama District Hospital in Shinyanga province. I believe when I'm all well, I will go back to my old job because right now I cannot start afresh. I do not have money to care for my wife and children. When this method of mining continues to put the lives of Tanzanians in Nyangrata village at risk, life and work continues as normal here. And that is the dream of Amos Mkata, known as Mwanza Mwanza, every time he wakes to go to the mines for 26 years now. Every morning as I wake up, I think of going to work. I hope one day I'll be one successful man. I mean, through these mines, I will be among rich people around. Every day as he meets his friends here in their wrong fight of bettering their future through mining. Every time I go down the mines, I pray to God so that I can get a larger belt of gold. To fight like me, I don't fear death. I am looking for life. Not all has the courage of going down into the mines. Some remains up as they sieve the rocks that are thrown as waste. The wonders of Gordi, my wife will be patient. Life as mountains and valleys. That song being famous in all the mines. It gives them hope that one day they will emerge victorious over their main enemy, which is poverty. <laughs> These are some of their friends of Mwanza Mwanza who got the same process in ensuring that they are coming out with anything vulnerable at the end of the day. After many hours, Mwanza Mwanza comes back to the surface. The remaining task is to find the customer who will buy stones. The spectators are many and the buyers are many too, but they replace Mwanza Mwanza doesn't like. He decides to weigh the stones by himself and sell pure gold. I can't know the price in the market because there are no people to tell us how much gold is sold. So if I feel that I'm being cheated, I stop selling the stone. I then look for ways to grind it so that I can see for myself how much gold I will get. He doesn't want to be cheated. Mwanza Mwanza therefore has to be around during all the process of extracting gold from these stones. To say the truth, sometimes one can be able to see the amount of gold from a stone just by seeing. 
that gives me hope that I can get enough money to go home, what we call finish work. Because without getting money, going home becomes a problem. You can even finish 10 years without going home. If I don't get money, that becomes a bigger problem to me. It is a musty to witness all the process or else you won't get anything. I estimated that we may get more gold but in turn it has gone contrary to what I thought. This is too little. I'm even regretting why I did not sell it. I could have taken that money. This gold business has two sides. There is winning and losing. So today I can say I've lost. I wish I knew. I could have sold it to those brokers. This loss could have been theirs, but it is now on me. What follows here is expensive because if I could have sold it for that money, I could be able to send it home or go home, but now this is little. I know I have to use it here. Baba, it is now beer and meat. The last stage is the measurements with the hopes of a smiley evening. The sweat that was shed the old days now washed in a frown and little man that can't make him once and to go back home. That is why I'm saying we are depending on each other here. For example, if I had my own compressor, I could grind it, but now it is forcing me to use grinding money because I don't have enough capital. The end of his daily course opens another beginning. He joins in shedding tears with his fellow miners asking their wives to be a patient with the wonders of the mines. Don't you know that our song? Wonders of gold, my wife, be patient. Waiter, give me beer and pass to my in-law. This is the end of all that happened in the 41 days underground. In the mines of Nyangrata, life goes on. Okay.